Hey, what's up Earth? It's Spaceman Matt. I just wanted to do a quick video on this new NBC series, La Brea, airing Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. on NBC. And it's also streaming on Peacock. And the last time I looked, it was for, also available for free on NBC. I was just wondering if anyone else had the feeling that La Brea could be a reboot of the Sid and Marty Croft children's series Land of the Lost which was rumored to be in the works. La Brea is about a group of modern-day Californians who get sucked down a sinkhole near the La Brea tar pits during the morning rush hour after a large earthquake hits. However, it's no ordinary sinkhole. At the bottom is a glowing rift in the time-space continuum, which appears to lead to Los Angeles' prehistoric past. The main focus is on the Harris family. The mom, Eve, and their teenage son, Josh, get sucked into the sinkhole through time, while the father, Gavin, and their daughter, Izzy, remain in present day to team up with a secret military operation to investigate the sink sinkhole and hopefully recover all those people from the past. The dad, Gavin Harris, is a former Air Force pilot. Down on his luck after a mysterious crash leaves him with visions of the prehistoric L.A where his wife and son are trapped currently. The thing I find interesting here is that there are parallels with the 1970s Sid and Marty Croft children's program, The Land of the Lost. This show appears to be a hybrid of that and the J.J. Abrams series just called Lost. Along with the Harris family are some other LA residents, some with a sketchy past, which will probably lead to flashbacks, similar to what they did in Lost. Now, I looked at the production credits and there is no reference to Sid and Marty Croft anywhere. So while it's close in concept, I'm not sure that this is a reboot of Land of the Lost. For one thing, although many people think the Land of the Lost is set in Earth's past because there's dinosaurs in it, it's actually a mysterious pocket universe populated by dinosaurs along with the sentient reptile or insectoid race called the Slee Stack who are actually the evolved race of another group of beings called the Altrusians, who were the original masters of the pocket universe. La Brea actually appears to be set in the, the LA of the past, not a pocket universe, or at least as far as we can tell. Eve Harris loses her necklace with her wedding band in the past, only for her husband to find it 10,000 years later in the present using the power of his strange visions that he gets from the past. Let me say here that I think that the original Land of the Lost series was one of the best science fiction series geared towards children, and it was the only Sid and Marty Croft series, as far as I can recall, that lasted three seasons. And while La Brea is set in the past, there were several things that made me think that it at least pays homage to the Land of the Lost, even if it's not a direct reboot. There is a brief glimpse of a primitive structure in the Gavin's Premonitions which was somewhat reminiscent of the Lost City from the Land of the Lost. In Episode 3 they find what appears to be a man-made bear or saber-toothed tiger trap. Uh, this could have been made by the Pakuni, the primitive race of human-like primates from the Land of the Lost, or possibly the reptilian Slee Stack, but uh, in episode 4, they stumble upon what looks like a human-made primitive village, which appears to be deserted. Also in episode 4, one of the people stranded in the past was electrocuted. They made it look like a human-looking uh, man may be the culprit, but I think it is a potential red herring. I believe in the original series, the Sleet Stack may have had crystals uh, at the end of poles, which they used as shock weapons. Also in the 1990s reboot of Land of the Lost, uh, the Shrung, the Slee Stack leader, had a powerful crystal sword which he used to subjugate his Slee Stack henchmen. It could be used to shock, among other things. Speaking of the 1990s reboot, which featured the Porter family, uh, their entrance to the Land of the Lost better parallels the La Brea sinkhole as the Porter's SUV falls down in a sinkhole after a massive earthquake very similar to the one in La Brea, just on a lower budget. The Marshalls from the 70s Land of the Lost series encountered the earthquake and a dimensional rift while white water rafting, as described in their iconic theme song. So, all three shows feature an earthquake, leading to some sort of rip in the time-space continuum. 
I can't find the original series or the 1990 series streaming anywhere other than what I imagine is bootleg copies on YouTube. But coincidentally or not, NBC Peacock, NBC's Peacock streaming service is streaming the 2009 Land of the Lost movie, which is a disappointing reimagining of the original series with Will Ferrell as an eccentric scientist named Rick Marshall. Also, IMDb lists the, the title as La Brea, aka Land of the Lost, which is interesting. I do hope that La Brea is a reboot uh, of Land of the Lost, which was such an imaginative show with a lot of funky stuff going on. So if they, we can, so if they can re retell or reimagine even some of the original stories with a modern spin, I think it will make for some very interesting television. So, what do you think? Could it La Brea be a Land of the Lost reboot? Or is it like David S. Pumpkins, its own thing? And were you a kid in the 70s like me, who started out liking the series because you had a serious crush on Kathy Coleman, uh, the actress who played Holly, but then, but then later fell in love with the whole series as you got older and saw it in reruns? Please comment below. Okay, that's all I have for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Oh, no, Mars Quake. Ah! to Spaceman Matt's sci-fi vlog today. The fate of the world depends on it, I guess.